All right, all right, all right. Today I'm trading Luka Doncic. The Dallas Mavericks are in heaps of agony currently as they have traded for their entire half of their team for Kyrie Irving and have still continued to lose in the 11th seed in the conference. Actually, they've gotten worse. The playing game started today. They would not be in it. And they are so bad that they're thinking about shutting down Luka and Kyrie for the rest of their season because my New York Knicks own their top 10 pick as long as it falls outside of that top 10. Whatever the hell I just said, I don't know. It's top 10 protected for the Mavericks. I saw this funny article a few days ago about top blending spots for Luka if he got traded, which won't happen. I'm going to do it anyway. But as of right now, we're still in the season, so I have to get to the offseason so I could actually trade him. Also, disclaimer, these are awards. For the past five weeks, I have not been recording my videos. They have been pre-recorded since Febu from February. I had jaw surgery at the end of February. This is the first video I'm back recording. I got my splint out off the top of my mouth literally like an hour and a half ago. Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to trade this guy. He made all defensive first team. But yeah, jaw surgery is when, you know, they break you, they break your jaws and they move them uh, into alignment. So it actually hasn't necessarily been ideal to record videos. So yeah, that's why I pre-recorded videos to go out every single week. And guess what? We missed the playing game with the last few games of the season. Sold it. Finished two games back in that 10c so luca will not be playing another game with the dallas mavericks steph and trey make it to the finals funnily enough trey young the man that was traded for luca wins the championship that is very uncharacteristic he was in the playing game like i said jaw surgeries where they you know take your jaws out of your mouth and physically realign them if i sound like 10 percent stupid just know it's because my whole face and my mouth is still pretty numb the greatest player of all time in the hall of fame also i left on league meetings aka rules changes because i think they're pretty funny like imagine if the shot clock gets eliminated again 20 people voted for it to get eliminated why would they ever do that what is the point of a seven day contract is 10 day too much oh well, the mavericks actually keep their pick we'll go to the knicks i mean it is slated at 10 so only if they get jumped over by uh one of the other teams oh it, <laughs> who jumped up from the bottom five i want to see it actually it was the raptors the raptors jumped up from 11 to 4 hey let's fire jason kid sorry get a real man in the front office jacob underwood so if you want to know what the trade pack oh where did all the trade packages go we're at the draft i don't know what happened but i was being offered julius randall and Jalen brunson or a combination of like trey young and Dejounte murray but now they're all gone guess i'll have to mix them up manually the portland trailblazers got the first overall pick wow well, that's awful because I was thinking about maybe trading with them, but you know, they're not going to give me Dame in the first pick, right? Okay. I'm being honest with you. I will take Simons in the first pick just because, you know, we build around Victor and Simons. Simons is cool. I know you're not interested in the trade, but like, what if I give you a, why are they not interested in this trade? Maybe the first pick is that good. I'll give you our 2027 first and JaVale McGee in this second round pick. Oh my God. There it is. Luka Doncic is gone. I just uh, formed a duo. Easily the dumbest thing you could ever imagine with Luka Doncic and Damian Lillard together in Portland. The two dudes that cannot win anything right now join together join forces what's crazy is as of right now obviously luca is a lot better than the player dame ever was not to dis discredit dame but luca is just a freak of nature in terms of like his size and everything i think the past like like it's crazy that luca is about to actually maybe miss the playoffs well we're restarting we got victor and anthony simons i won't say it's a win-win per se but i mean if the uh if the blazers wanted to you know what i'm saying keep fighting with dame like they have seemed to want to forever now it wouldn't be the worst idea you know get luca Doncic. i'm trying to get the the hornets i think this is a seventh pick right now take bertans too take all this money off our hands and then um screw it i'm just give it the same package to get our pick back from the knicks actually can we keep bertans out oh never mind 11th pick there you are new york knicks agree 24 trade offers i don't care about this garbage grayson allen oh yeah ricky rubio that'll really save things take anthony black i've done a, quite a few of these and he's pretty good in this game by the way in that article of the dude that was talking about trading luca he said potentially an offer would be whatever team lands the number one pick so i guess i fulfilled that the other three were the Jazz, the Thunder, and yours truly. Not like it holds any validity or anything. I'm just talking. Now, you may realize we have a fantastic cap space opportunity. At least we should. Negative 31 million. That doesn't seem correct. I think that's incorrect. So look, we can re-sign Kyrie. I mean, there's no other better player in free agency. We might as well. Look at that. Even when we sign him, we still have 44 million available, which is more than what we're giving him. I'm gonna go all out. Give me James Harden. I didn't see them win a ring. Matter of fact, I think they lost in the first round. Were they the first seed last year? Someone had to lose to the Hawks. Oh no, it wasn't them. It was the Buck. I'm gonna offer James Harden the bag and see what he says. James Harden, he is going to come to the maverick elite levels of stupidity in this you gotta love it D dimwitty you trying to come back i didn't get dimwitty but we got Kyrie and james harden look at that simons will be a bench player i guess hardy you could play a small forward no you can't you're too short hey shout out to lamarcus Aldridge. i I'm, i only saw him because i went to potential and clicked highest potential and he has the highest one because he's old and he used to be good he just retired a few days ago that's one of my goats i know i actually made a video for him when he retired the first time two years ago the one with like brandon roy him and uh greg Oden. okay we just gave james harden 190 million dollars and he went down by three overall Kyrie also went down. I was actually planning on switching their positions back. So we got them linked back up. I don't know why. Honestly, I forgot they played together. And alongside them, I signed Jonathan Isaac, Malik Beasley. Really mid signings. Every guy I, I kept on offering just kept on declining. It was kind of disheartening. What's the odds that Reggie Bullock and Grant Williams have the same shot tendency of 38? I'm going to correct one of my wrongs off rip. I didn't get a good enough backup center. I'm trading for Nick Richards. Sorry, Malik Beasley. We don't need you. All right, now we're good. Starting lineup Kyrie Harden, Anthony Black, Jonathan Isaac, and Victor. Uh, Mavericks have been 
and flipped on their head. And it really pisses me off that they changed how Jacob Underwood looked. But he's still got the soul in there somewhere. I could feel it. Also, I'm probably going to trade James Harden after this season. And that Bronny James guy, he might be all right. Oh, here they go trying to offer me. The Rockets are trying to get James Harden back for Sengun. I'm all right for now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and, a, and a first round pick this year, I'm, I'm okay. We could start exploring the trade deadline. I'll just make up a storyline that maybe like he threw a fire extinguisher at Kyrie or something. All right, so we're pretty good. But we're also kind of mid. Harden's actually our most valuable player currently, according to this thing. And Kyrie comes after Anthony Simon. I guess keep that in mind. Everybody else is honestly garbage. Holy hell. Also, Victor's already our leader in, leader in scoring over two of the greatest scorers of all time in his first season. And Jesus, we have four 20 point scores basically, and nobody else in double figures. Screw it. I'm going to keep, keep this team for the rest of the season. Why not? Oh, another Ben Simmons for Harden trade. Don't mind if I do. Honestly, a pretty solid rarity nowadays is a Giannis MVP. Honestly, I would have gave the MVP to Victor over him. Look at that. More blocks, more steals, uh, more rebounds, uh, nothing else. Anthony Simon, six man of the year. I mean, that's expected. He averaged 19 points per game for the love of God. Victor wins DPOI in his first season. Shout out to Jay Nivey and Quinn Snyder, whatever. Maybe this trade will pay off. You know, Victor, third team, first season. Anthony Black, all rookie second team with pretty mediocre numbers, but actually pretty good for a rookie. We have the third seed after missing the playing game behind the Blazers and Lakers. Pretty decent. We're also in a three-way tie. This team sucks. They won't win. Wow, Dennis Smith Jr. is starting for them. Like I said, they won't win. 4-1. Second round. This team kind of sucks, but they have that guy. Probably a decent series. 4-1. And Memphis. Honestly, I don't know about this one. Oh, we're down 3-2. Won the next game. Good, thanks. And just got smoked in the third quarter. 46-16. to We're about to lose this game just because of that one singular quarter. John Morant's the Western Conference MVP. A pretty good year off of the swap from Luka. Jesus Christ. Jason Tatum smoked the Grizzlies, though. I forget that we have Anthony on the bench, too. Yeah, that is pretty impactful. We might have to move Harden just because of father time, but he had a fantastic she season. He shot 57% from the field. And Jonathan Isaac, holy hell, 29% from the field in the playoff. He he's got to go. Him and Matisse, they got to go. Oh, wow. They just eliminated financial restrictions when trading. Salaries are no longer required to match. That is an insane switch. Actually, a few days ago, the NBA uh, did a bunch of crazy um CBA changes. I, I forget what one I thought to remember, but I don't know. They, 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 they change a bunch of stuff pretty crazily sometimes. Okay, the craziest thing I saw was that now players can invest in teams while they're still in the NBA and they can invest in betting companies. All right, screw it. We're doing it. We are trading James Harden, a second round pick and two firsts to the Knicks for Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson. Julius Randle is also a Dallas native. So screw it. That exempts anything that may be unrealistic about this trade. Who cares? Now we have a power forward over Jonathan Isaac and we could just put Anthony Simons at the two and everything's all dandy. I'm also trading Isaac and Matisse to the Nets for Terry Rozier so we could still have that bench presence like how uh, what's his name was last season. Anthony Simons. They also now have the longest, lankiest defensive team of all time with Ben Simmons and McHale and Isaac and Matisse. Very good for you guys. Also get Duncan Robinson off my team now. Yeah, hell no. 30 year old scrub. Give me these two first round picks. You'll figure out the rest in free agency. Also, how did the Blazers do last year? Oh, they were first. Oh, wow. Team looks pretty good. Better than last season, even though it's kind of worse because I liked Harden. We have the 23rd pick, which honestly I forgot about. Xavier Booker felt it. Dang, what happened to him? Did he like get worse in real life? Because he has always been like a top 10 in every draft class I've ever downloaded. Screw it. I'm giving him a shot. Xavier Booker, welcome to the team. I'm bringing in Tobias Harris on a three-year deal. He's a solid small forward. You might have heard him before. He was just on a max contract. You know, decent guy. Didn't deserve it, but he got it. Let's get a real nice vet. George's Niang just seems like a good guy. Alex Caruso, beautiful. And I don't know how many roster spots we have. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at that. Victor is an 89 overall and yeah so on and so forth oh wow the Knicks signed Pascal Siakam to replace Julius Randle and kept James Harden they're actually not that bad I don't know what the hell happened to Brunson I don't know how but Brunson's been in Toronto for a season already and it wasn't for Siakam because it wasn't a trade Siakam just signed with them who the hell knows anymore look at that Julius Randle's back on the all-star team Victor's here for the first time I don't even know if I see Kyrie but eh, it is what it is Victor's averaging 28 points and 12 rebounds Randle's averaging 17 8 and 6 we got a much more balanced scoring effort this season a lot more scorers in general less room for failure i guess we're we gonna be oh yeah we're the best yeah 40 and 14 that is the best team in the conference by far shout out to sacramento actually you're about to play them oh wow they lost the Aaron fox and demontis Sabonis in this simulation and they're actually second in the conference right now which is what made me think about them but i was in a call like two days ago one of my friends is like oh wow the, the kings are about to lose to the spurs and i'm like honestly the kings have been bad for so long that it won't like actually like affect me to hear them lose to anybody for at least like another five years of them being good and hopefully that continues victor is your 2000 
and whatever the hell MVP. 2040, 2025 to be exact. Damian Lillard wins six million. There's no way in hell they're starting. They're, they're starting Luca over him, like not alongside or whatever floats your boat. Jacob Underwood, coach of the year, playing Golden State in the first round. They won like one game over us last year and they probably, there are, what the hell? Curry's at the two? Hashtag, this is why we play. Smoke them. The Grizzlies, we lost to them last year. Can we beat them this year? Yep, 4-0 sweep. And we played the exact same three teams. That is insane. Just in a different order. Dallas trying to come back. Oh my God, they have made the comeback. Did I say Dallas, I'm at Minnesota. How much scoring going on right now? Well, not at this current juncture, but you know, throughout the entire game, there's been a lot. There's two minutes left in game seven of the uh, whatever the hell conference finals this is. Here we go. Simon's passing the ball to Kyrie. Aside from maybe like the 2016. Oh, Sam, it's James Harden. How did Harden get here? I traded him to the Knicks. Uh, Kyrie pulls up. Close shot. That is good. Is that Anthony Edwards with the ball, right? He's number four. Edwards is screened by Gobert. I think they traded Cat for, uh, oh my God, 28% contested green light by Anthony Edwards. Kyrie goes left. The screen on the right by Victor. Kyrie Irving all the way to the basket. That is an easy layup around James Harden. 137 left. Edwards back up the other way. Honestly, not the worst. I mean, the age isn't good, but not the worst trade in the world for like the team, like fit wise. Harden next to Edwards, a legitimate point guard playmaker type of thing. Edwards all the way to the basket. He hands it off in a beautiful pass out to McDaniels and he misses the wide open corner three. Anthony Simons hands it off to Kyrie. Kyrie behind the back. A, a spin move lay up around everybody Kyrie Irving put in the team on his back Anthony Edwards back up the other way he hesitates he goes left all the way pass down to Gobert Gobert the close shot over Victor they notoriously had like a matchup when he was like 16 or 17 or something and he was cooking Gobert well he couldn't cook back that time screen by Randall and Kyrie is gonna pass it down to Randall for the dunk that should be game we have absolutely dominated them ever since I jumped in oh my god and Simons gets the steal off the inbounds it is over with Simons gets fouled we are going to the NBA Finals. Harden at 38 and 16. He could have still done a lot of work for us. Yep, Carl Towns is in New York, and they did not make the playoffs. We are playing the Celtics, who have won. I can't remember if they won last year, but they won that one championship. They smoked the Grizzlies. We are better in every single matchup, except for those two wing positions, as expected. First game, it is a Dallas win. Second game, another Dallas win. Third game, scout advice. Give less minutes to Victor. Give more minutes to Mitchell Robinson. Scout advice. Shut the hell up. I will fire you. 47 points from Jalen Brown. They smoked us by almost 50 points. How does the comment section feel? Who do you think the best player? I've seen a, I have a lot of friends that share a common belief and I see it on the internet that Jalen Brown's actually the best player on the Celtics and not Jason Tatum and it's just opportunity. I don't agree, but I think it's a funny thing. I don't know. It's just some, I'm just talking about something as we win another game. And now it's just give more minutes to Mitchell Robinson when he want to put him at shooting guard. And here we have it. Your Dallas Mavericks are going to win the NBA championship in Dallas led by Victor, Dallas native Julius Randle. Who the hell cares about Tatum's three? Give me a bucket with Victor real quick. Oh, yep. Victor corner three whatever pull it green three seconds left up the floor pull that no sportsmanship who cares it missed dang i saw that the celtics had bold bold now i feel bad bodied my idol oh victor wins mvp as expected who the hell who would expect anything else anthony simons did have 31 points though Kyrie 11 assists randall shot awfully you know in character sometimes victor averaged 26 and 11 in the finals draymond green retired i might not go for a five peat but i'm trying to run it back also what stupid rules will get implemented this year i want to see uh nothing oh wait oh they changed the all-star game a little bit who cares it's just me i know the all-star game's been a few weeks ago now but i don't think i've talked about it since i could not care less about the all-star game to this day I, I really don't care ideally i will be changing absolutely nothing about this team and running it back let's go dang terry rosier had a 26 million dollar team option yeah no we can reconstruct that buddy it's so crazy if i really wanted to i could trade simons i don't know if there's another team that uh would have the cash oh there actually no there's a good amount i could trade simons and maybe mitchell robinson i literally would probably have enough money to sign uh Giannis. yeah because it's only 27 million over the cap but i won't we don't keep the culture together what's really funny is i'm gonna just sign terrence man for the hell of it is that as at my career on youtube has further progressed from the beginning to the now i used to have to be more cautious with certain moves i would make in videos because i was like oh well this probably isn't possible and over the years things have just become more things that were impossible have just become possible the most random things possible will happen in the nba oh victor's a 95 there's a seven foot four dudes that's about to come into the nba and dominate Kyrie, kd and james harden teamed up and then broke up within a year they're just playing my league in real life at this point how kd's on the suns Kyrie's on the mavericks what's really going on and through all this the warriors will probably just somehow find a way to win the championship again all right we got victor starting randall on the bench of the all-star game we're 41 and 12 probably the best in the conference victor wins mvp again lillard wins six man of the year again if they're in the playoffs i'll uh i'll change their positions they're not they're not even here oh they're in the plane he's not even that good at actually no yeah you should be on the bench shade and sharps here oh great we're playing him first round watch he gets revenge we win four two second round oh well we lost in the second round of san antonio the thunder are gonna go on and win the championship whatever we're all the story 
story in order to win a championship for the Dallas Mavericks. Trade that overrated six foot seven shot chucking Slovenian slob and bring on a real man like Julius Randle. Goodbye. Uh,